What are lung function tests and what can I expect? Lung, or pulmonary function tests, are a group of tests used to measure how well the lungs take in and release air and how well they supply oxygen to the rest of the body. The most common types of pulmonary function tests are spirometry, lung volume measurement, and lung diffusion capacity tests. To prepare for his lung function tests, Phil was instructed to not eat a large meal and to avoid smoking for four to six hours before the tests. He was also informed that some patients need to take an inhaled medication prior to the test, and that some of the testing may cause temporary shortness of breath or lightheadedness since they involve forced and rapid breathing. Spirometry is usually performed in the doctor's office. Before the test, soft clips are placed on Phil's nose. The spirometry test is performed while Phil is sitting down. He takes in a deep breath and breaths out as hard as possible into a mouthpiece connected to a spirometer. The spirometer measures how much air he breathes in, how much he breathes out, and how quickly he is able to exhale air from his lungs. Lung volume measurement is usually done in a special lab or clinic and can be done in one of two ways. One of the methods is to sit inside a sealed, clear glass booth called a body plethysmograph. While wearing a nose clip, Phil breathes in and out into a tube, attached to the testing machine. The changes in pressure inside the booth help determine Phil's lung volume by measuring the amount of air Phil's lungs can hold and the amount of air that remains in the lungs after he fully exhales. Another possibility to measure Phil's lung volume is to ask him to breathe in nitrogen, or helium gas, through a tube and then blow it out. Afterwards, the concentration of exhaled gas is analyzed to estimate Phil's lung volume. A lung diffusion capacity test is also performed in a special lab or clinic and measures how well the lungs move oxygen from the air into the bloodstream. To determine his lung diffusion capacity, Phil breathes in a harmless amount of carbon monoxide gas, holds his breath for a brief moment, and then rapidly blows out into a mouthpiece connected to a machine. Afterwards, the amount of exhaled gas is measured to determine how much of the gas was absorbed during the breath. These lung function tests may help to diagnose certain lung diseases, however they may not always show exactly what causes the breathing problems so additional tests may be needed to accurately diagnose an underlying disorder.